Let's graph the linear equation y equals 8x, and we're going to do it two ways. We'll do a table of values first, put some values in for x, find y, and then graph those points here on our graph. After that, we'll look at slope-intercept formula just to make sure we got the right answer. So let's put some values in for x here. And we can put any values in, but we want to put values that will show up on the graph. So I like to start out with 0, because 8 times 0, that is 0. So the first point is 0 comma 0. Let's put 1 in. If we have 1 for x, 8 times 1, that's 8. So we have 1 comma 8, and let's do negative 1. Negative 1 for x, 8 times negative 1, that's negative 8. So that's our last point. So now we can graph y equals 8x. So if the first point we have x is 0, y is 0. So that's right here. Next we have x is 1 and y is 8. So we go up to 8. And we could stop there, but it's good to have a third point in case you made an error. It'll become very apparent if you did so. So we'll go to x is negative 1, y is negative 8. And you can see all of these, they line up. So that looks good. Let's put a line through that. Then we'll put arrows to show that that goes to infinity. So that's the line. That's the graph of the line for y equals 8x. Let's check our work with slope-intercept formula. So for slope-intercept formula, we have y equals mx plus b. But there's nothing out here. So let's just say plus 0. It's the same thing, but now it fits the slope-intercept formula. So for b, the y-intercept, that's where we're going to cross the y-axis, and that is at 0. So right here, we go to 0, and yep, that's where we cross the y-axis. We can think of the slope, m, instead of 8, we can think of it as 8 over 1. That gives us rise over run. So we go to that y-intercept, we rise 8, and we go over 1, rise over run. That's right on our line. That makes sense. We're out of room now. Let's go down 8 and then go over 1 in the opposite direction. And that's also on our line. And we could keep doing that here for the graph. All those points, they end up on our line here. So we did the first part correctly. This is Dr. B with the graph for the equation y equals 8x. Thanks for watching.